Hi guys, welcome to your daily tarot reading for Monday the 1st of March 2021. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to use the Tarot of the Cat People for today's reading. Let's have a look. I hope you've had a lovely weekend. Let's see what the cards have to say about Monday. First we've got, oh, we've got two here. We've got the Fool and the Five of Pentacles. Okay. And finally, the Six of Cups. Okay, very interesting. I was looking at this final card thinking, okay, what is this going to be? Because it's really important as to the outcome. Because the first card says you're going to have some new idea. It will feel really difficult and like you have obstacles there that get you down and that you have to then overcome and you have to kind of energize yourself and pick yourself back up. This had been victory, success, triumph, then that difficulty would have led to something glorious beyond your wildest dreams. Uh, we've got the Six of Cups, which says that you've got a really wonderful, intimate, soulmate connection with someone else, with yourself. You're able to tap into this energy of love. So it's not that difficulties lead to some sort of great triumph and victory today. It's that anything that you work with or work through that causes you difficulty or that's a, that requires quite a bit of energy really opens things up for you to have a much greater um, appreciation for what it means to really be loved and that you're humble enough to accept help and to realize that you can't do everything on your own. So the victory, and it's interesting that that card came up as an example in my mind, because the real triumph as such of the day is that you understand yourself better and that the relationship with yourself gets stronger. And, you know, newsflash, <laughs> that's going to be the person you know longest in your life. You're going to be there with you every day until your last day. So it makes sense to make friends with yourself. The Fool is a card that says something new is beginning. Um, this is a reading for the first day of the new month. Okay, so we might be picking up on some of that new energy of a new um, period of time here. The Fool is also the, the process where you conceive of an idea before you do something with it. It's just an idea that pops into your head. It's like suddenly something just, a light goes on and you realize you want to do something. You have no idea how to do it. If you do... Go ahead, uh, you may fall off the cliff because you have absolutely no preparation or no idea what you're doing. Your little friend, the cat, is pulling you back, trying to save you from taking uninformed action that could potentially be disastrous. But he's holding this wand here, and ultimately, the, the important thing about the fall, even though it can be disastrous, is that it's super, super... Um, necessary for us to do anything new because whenever you do anything in life it could fail most things have some element of risk and if we didn't have the energy of the fool then we'd never have a new idea a new inspiration a new passion and we just give up and say well those things didn't work so this isn't going to work either so sometimes we have to be foolish and today you get that childlike belief that you can do anything and that the world is your oyster and that if you do follow your passion and your desire that you can change things and that's absolutely correct the five of pentacles then is about rejection hardship usually it's a card that shows a um, stained glass window of a church and two people being out in the snow it's also ill health it's tough times and here we've got this older woman kind of mourning resting we've got the five of pentacles there so this is um not rejection completely, again, because she's there with her cat. So the regardless of what happens in your life, whether your boss is mean to you or whether you don't get the promotion or whether your foot hurts, it ultimately, you have this amazing friendship with yourself. And it may be that the hardships clarify that for you. It's like you press a piece of coal long enough and you get a diamond. So you have these new ideas, you're optimistic, you're hopeful in your in your day and in what you're doing then you go about your business and not everything goes exactly the way you want. It may force you to realize that the one person who can really help you through this is you. And you have a much greater appreciation for yourself because you're always there for you. I know it may sound trite and some of you are like, well, I've been meditating for 30 years. I think I know myself by now. Fine. Then you'll find today even easier because if anything is less than ideal, your inner self, your your higher self 
the essence of you will be there very, very strongly and will say, you are not rejected. This isn't over. You can keep going. You can overcome this and get to a place of connection and love and happiness. And whether that place of connection, love and happiness is finding yourself or rediscovering yourself, or it's actually working at something and overcoming it and having a great outcome. So the boss throws three giant files on your folder on your desk in the morning and says, I need to have these completed by four. And that is just so difficult. It's doable, but you're going to have to cut out your lunch break and just work, 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 work. Then working through all those files and getting them in by four, that can give you a sense of, oh, I can relax. I've done a good job. I'm proud of myself. So if things crop up in a practical sense that are problematic, don't feel defeated because you can get to a happy place with them. If the problems are other people, remember that other people aren't responsible for you or your life and that you don't owe them anything. And then as long as you have yourself, you'll be okay and you'll be able to overcome whatever is thrown your way. So today is the ultimate resilience day. You're super resilient. You're um, able to just plot away at something. It's that kind of stamina that we admire when we see it in other people, you know, like people who run the marathon and they have all sorts of issues while they're running with their bodies, but they just keep going and going and going. And then when you see them finish, um, cross the finish line and they're like exhausted and just, it's something you can empathize with, you know, it's like, wow, that was a struggle. And you can do the same thing for yourself today. It's like, wow, I'm really doing my best. And I appreciate myself for that. Thank you, me, for trying and for hoping and for trying again. I really love that about myself. The Six of Cups, then, is really feeling a sense of being at home in yourself and being really able to rely on yourself as a father or a mother or as a cat dad would. You know, like, you're the one who set up this sanctuary for cats. You're the one who's colored your inner landscape and made your life what it is you can always rely on yourself and even let yourself be nurtured and supported by your higher self today you'll really feel it it's just there sometimes it may be really remote and inaccessible today you won't feel that you'll really feel yourself giving yourself a leg up in every situation having your back and just in general supporting you and giving you great energy so that's that's pretty that's pretty miraculous, this kind of energy, because no one can take you away from you. And if you find access to your true inner self, then the rest of your life is a cakewalk. Zero, five, five, six, eleven. Eleven is the master number of service. So you're going to be of service to yourself and um, you're going to be of service to your own life and the future by rediscovering or discovering yourself for the first time and really realizing how mothering or fathering or nurturing you really really are and how much you can rely on you it's super liberating because this resilience will prove to you that you don't need anything or anybody to be happy it's all you of course on a superficial level we all need other people you know we need a butcher to be in the shop to buy the meat and friends to talk to and and we, we need that kind of thing. But ultimately, fundamentally, you are not here to please other people or to be held up and propped up by other people. You are an independent unit and you can function on your own to really create whatever it is you want. You have so much more power than you realize. Have an amazing day. If you would like a personal reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. On the front page, click on book your reading. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe and share the video online. Have a fabulous start to... Uh, the week and a wonderful start to March and really for March maybe make the um, commitment to yourself that you will be your own best friend and that's going to get you a long long way have a great time and I'll speak to you tomorrow